We're barely back together and you want me pregnant? Barely? You moved into our room. That doesn't mean we're gonna walk down the aisle again. Why not? If you had to marry every girl you slept with... Okay, okay, where is this coming from? I... I... I just need some breathing room, that's all. You just went on a trip with Bianca. You came back a whole new person. But now, I... I, I... Don't back me into a corner. Have you felt like this? How come you told AJ that we were gonna be a family again? Stop acting like I've made some huge change. Maybe something's changed for you. Probably just work. Let me ask you something. What part of off the clock does JR just not comprehend? It's fine. I'll deal with it. I have appreciated all of that. All the attention and that special music box you gave me. So tell me, why are you pushing me away? I'm just trying to understand why you're running so hot and cold with us. Are you listening to me? I don't want to argue. Neither do I. Especially not here, so I just, can we just go home? Why are you so confused? JR, you're starting again. I just want to know. Okay, I am not confused. I know exactly who I am, and I know exactly what I want. Okay, so tell me what you want. I, I want to not discuss this right now, okay? Look, Bianca just walked in. <clears throat> Hi, I'm meeting somebody. Oh. Uh, you care to join us? Oh, no, you heard her. She can't. She has a business meeting. Well, not exactly. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Uh, Sienna, these are my friends, JR and Marissa Chandler. Nice to meet you. Same here. We were just leaving, but I'm really glad that we stuck around. It is really nice to meet you. So are you new to Pine Valley? And I'm really liking it here so far. So, how did you guys meet? Uh, Sienna's an attorney. Oh, right. So am I. I'm representing some of the women at the Miranda Center. Oh, right. Okay, Miranda Center. That makes sense. How you guys would meet each other. We'd be working together a lot at the Miranda Center. Anyway. Yeah, we'll let you two get to your day. Um, huh? So, are you guys eating dinner here, or do you have bigger plans later? Uh, we're actually going to a gallery open. Oh! Great. Excuse me for just a second. Why don't I check and see what time the opening begins? Okay. Did you notice that? Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Marissa, she's rattled. Can't, I can't help you there. Oh, come on, Bianca. I think you know exactly what I mean. And we both know the reason why. Marissa is upset and confused. I don't blame her. Uh, so who do you blame? Well, who do you think? Me, as usual. Oh. It's not really, it's that big of a surprise. Well, did you do something to hurt her? JR? Is something more important? What? But no, I was just making sure that everything was okay at the office. Okay, but I thought, I thought you were worried about Marissa. What the heck you did to her? I am. And what I did was make a huge mistake. Which was? Telling you I could take it from here. I could handle Marissa by myself. 
That was your big mistake? Yeah, and I need your help again. Tara, she was your wife. I know. But in a lot of ways, you're closer to her than I am. What? Th that's ridiculous. No, I'm serious. It's like you're the only one who knows what she wants. What's really in her heart. Hi. Hi. Oh, my phone service is terrible. Yeah, I hate that. Bianca's daughter calls it the phone zone. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. Have you met Miranda and Gabby? Not yet. They look adorable. They are. So how long have you had a thing for Bianca? I don't know what you're talking about. Bianca and I are good friends. And maybe a little more? Yes, like family. Our kids spend all kinds of time together, so it makes sense that we would take a trip together, uh, spend some holidays. The holidays? Yes, yes, occasionally, some of them. We all just, we have so much in common. Again, I believe that all to be true, but I saw your body language. You were so off base. The way you couldn't make eye contact with Bianca. Not that I blame you, Bianca is a beautiful and fascinating woman. Who is my best friend. Like, all I really care about is, do I have a chance? Why don't you ask her? Because I think you're the problem. Look, your gaydar is way off, okay? I am not gay. But you see that handsome man over there? He is the father of my child. We're a family. You know, all I want is... I... I just want Bianca to be happy. I am not some love guru, JR. Stop working the angles. Stop, stop trying to use me to reconnect with the woman you supposedly love. I do love her. Okay, then just be open and honest. Listen to her, what, what she needs, what she wants, how she feels. Right. I, and then if it's not meant to be, move on. And if that doesn't work, you could always just jump off the roof of your mansion. Okay. Okay, you're not hearing any of this. What is going on with you? No wonder you keep going in circles with Marissa. You don't listen. You say that you care about her, and then you act like you don't. It's not true. Okay, well then you ask me advice, and I give it to you, and then you argue with me. Can, can you just hold on for a minute for me, please? How do you do not get it at all, do you, JR? All women need to be wanted, needed, appreciated. And when you expect Marissa to be on your timetable, are you getting any of this? Yeah, yeah. Wanted, needed, appreciated. I got it. Um, <clears throat> can you just go home now, please? <sighs> Sienna seems like an amazing woman. She is. You deserve an amazing woman, Bianca. Thanks, Chair. So, have a good time at the gallery. And, and whatever else. Will do. Mm -hmm. You were right, JR. About Bianca being deserving? About everything. I have been giving you mixed signals. And I should never have pushed you so hard. I want you to know that this emotional roller coaster ride that I've been on has not been your fault. You have done everything you could to prove yourself to me. And I should have never betrayed that trust. Yeah. Ready to have a, a great time. They really seem to hit it off, you know? Bianca and Sienna. Yeah, I guess. I mean, even though Sienna's a little bit obvious. I thought she was hot. 
Again, kind of obvious, right? What's going on, JR? Is there something wrong? Wrong? No, no, it's, uh, it's just work, you know? So, um, what did you and, uh, Bianca talk about while I was gone? Honesty. Being honest with each other. Oh, God. Is it work again? Can't you ignore it for just a minute? I could ignore work. I could ignore my company and focus on you, but I'm not that kind of person. No, you're not. And I also know you're not the kind of woman who deserves that kind of emotional pressure. Look, I love you. I want to be back together with you. But I also don't want to smother you. Wow. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. You really have been listening, huh? Yeah. And since I'm really trying to be honest with you... What? I think you should know that I had some help figuring you out. I'm really anxious to get to the gallery opening. There's, there's a couple of really great artists they're showing. That's what you've been saying. And there's also this cute little uh, bistro that just opened up. They have a killer onion soup. Sounds tempting. And actually, there's also this you young club. Slow down. It all sounds great, but unfortunately, I think I'm going to call it a day. What? Why? I think you're terrific. And if things were different... What do you mean, different? I'm not the one you want right now. Uh, of course you are. I think Marissa would love to go to the bistro. With you. Oh, no, this is, there's nothing like that between us. We're just really good friends. Don't bother. I've already heard that speech tonight. Honestly. I just want to wish you good luck, and if it doesn't work out, you have my number. <laughs> <laughs>